Ladies and gentlemen, we are chasing salmon again. Redemption from the last trip. Joined with Daniel again and Bob. This is attempt number two. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Hook to Cook, he's a Central Coast surf fisherman. Hook to Cook will commence. <laughs> Let's do this. Send him down. Here we go. All right. We're in. We are in the water. A pumper is the term for when your rod starts pumping. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. When it pulls it off the cliff and it's just pumping. That's what we want. Let's get a pumper today. That's the kind you're looking for, buddy. Pulls it off the clip and it's pumping. <laughs> so I'll keep an eye on that one too. Bob's watching them both going cross-eyed. I'm watching them both. All right, quick update. We're still trying to find any signs of life, bait or birds. But so far we've made one pass and haven't seen any life, so. We're turning around, heading the other direction. So update, we are amongst the fleet of boats that are around here. Really quiet on the radio, nobody's hooking up. We heard of one lost and it was on a certain bait at a certain depth. So we're trying to mirror that a little bit. Come on, get one, it'll boost the morale. Yeah. Get one. One keeper, it'll boost the morale. We'll be all pumped, like good to go for another three hours to troll. No, not yet. You? It's quiet. Just radio silence, still, huh? On, 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 on. Real, 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 real. Really? Keep it tight, keep it tight. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Keep it on the apex. Mark it. You good fish? Nice. He's on the other side of the line. Get him over here, Bob. He's on the line. Where is he? He's right here. He's right here. The nice one. Got nice. Him. Woo! That's a nice yeah. one. Hell yeah, Bob. Hell yeah. Phew. Nice boost, fish. Boost, <laughs> boost the morale. Yeah. Dude, we were sleeping. I was heading towards the stars and it hit. There's Bob's fish right there, guys. And hey, we get to do a fish dance. <laughs> Happy dance. Hey, popping like I'm post to. Watch out for the people that ain't close to. Speak a little something you could toast to. I ain't trying to hear about what you won't do. Moving like I'm into. Hit the ground running like the rent do. Speak a little something that you're into. I ain't trying to hear about what you been through Like, hold up, hold up, say what's the hold up I got the pack, who got the roll up I'm trying to pull up, it seem like every time I show up It gotta go up, see the drip, they see the glow up Oh, now they know us, see it's funny how my pockets out of shape But I fit for the flex, clear the phone We're at home now, that was definitely a good trip We didn't get them like we thought we would We did get a keeper though, so like we promised in the last video, we're gonna show you the insides of the fish, and we're also gonna show you the differences between a wild-caught salmon versus a salmon uh, that is farmed. And this one's actually from Scotland, so it's actually the higher quality sushi-grade salmon. So it's not gonna be like 
you know, what you'll usually find at Albertsons or Vons or anything. So it's definitely a good farm-raised salmon. From the looks of it, you could already tell that the farm-raised salmon is quite a bit fattier. And then if you look at the wild-caught salmon, it's, it's less fatty, but more of an intense red coloring. We did bleed this fish out, but really quick, let's show you what was in the stomach. So in the last video, we promised we were gonna show you guys what these salmon are eating. Since they live in the wild, and they have to fend for themselves. They're usually eating krill or anchovies or small bait fish. So we're gonna take this fish, we're gonna see what is inside. But if you're at all squeamish and don't wanna see that part, go ahead and skip to this timestamp in this video. By then, it'll be all said and done. Here comes the moment of truth. Let's see what's inside. So this is the main stomach right here. And it seems like this stomach is fully empty. But that's the stomach right there. Let's cut it open. Yeah, that's the stomach lining and it's completely empty. There's like absolutely nothing in there. This fish did have row, small, small row sacks. There was nothing in the stomach, absolutely nothing in the stomach. In the wild caught? In the wild caught salmon, there was absolutely nothing in the stomach. Oh man. So, this one was definitely hungry, and that's why it's also surprising that we only got one uh, that day. But, let's do it. So we're gonna go ahead and cook up these two pieces. We got the wild caught right here. This is the wild caught salmon. Again, you can really see that it is not as fatty at all. Definitely a lot leaner of a fish. Usually that fat layer on the farm salmon is a lot more. So actually let's hold them side by side. Look at that. That's the difference. But we're gonna cook them up pretty simple. You could hear the cat. She's getting antsy because she knows she's gonna get some, some salmon skin. What flavor olive oil do you want, honey? Hmm, I think I'll go with the pesto. This one? Yes. Pesto. <laughs> Pesto it is. Instead of oiling up the pan, because these fish are, you know, gonna be pretty good at not sticking to the pan, but still want to put a little light drizzle of olive oil. And that'll also allow for the seasoning to not soak into the meat. Which is nice, because then you get those bursts of the salt crystals, because the salt crystals don't melt into the meat. That oil acts as a boundary, keeping that seasoning from dissolving into the meat. And then at the end of the day, you use less oil. So this is the seasoning that Veronica likes. So it's actually a burger seasoning, which is a trip. It's actually really, really good. Here, let's read the ingredients really quick. Sea salt, black pepper, dill seed, coriander, red pepper, and dehydrated garlic. That's all that's in this. And it's very coarse, it's not it's not like a fine brown seasoning. This salmon that Leroy brought, actually, Leroy still has his connections to his Japanese restaurant. And he ended up getting a 13 pound Scottish salmon. And that's what this is. It's Scottish and yeah, it's farmed in the ocean. If you check the comment section, we'll let Leroy fill in all of the specifics on that salmon. So Leroy, leave that comment. I'll pin it to the top. Explain to them exactly what this is and what this salmon ate. Totally organic palate. Yep. But it did not swim. Okay, what do we got? We got the farm raised versus the wild caught. I can tell already about my plate, which yeah. is which, yeah. Definitely farm raised here. Yep. All the striations are really like 
apparent. Here the striations are, are equally apparent, but you don't have that breakage. Like it's tight. It's a tough meat. Definitely tighter. And the farm almost is gelatinous around the belly portion. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so both of these are actually belly cuts. So we'll see. We'll see how they match up. So give us like a, a breakdown of the flavor. Go ahead and taste, let's say, the farmed one first. Taste the farmed one. Oh boy, it looks like a super fatty piece. I don't do well with the fatty pieces. Let's see. We'll see. Based on the last episode, that other one was definitely fatty, but we'll see. Let's see. Mm. It like melts in your mouth. It's so good. Um, it absorbs the flavor really well too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How about the flavor of the salmon itself? Very clean, really clean, not super fishy at all. I mean, it tastes like a burger with a seasoning. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> all right, like so it. cleanse your palate real quick with like a, a bite of like the cauliflower, kind of okay. get rid of it. Cauliflower is amazing. It's called cauliflower, and this one is cilantro lime. Super good. Mm -hmm. So definitely a good palate cleanser. Mm-hmm. Here's the wild caught. Wild caught. It's got a little more bite to it. Bite as in it's firmer? Mm-hmm. Oh, your battery just died. It's okay. Mm. Flavor wise, it tastes just it's it's not not as not fishy at all. Nothing at all. Like, I wouldn't know that was fish if I tried it. This one still had a little bit of a fishy flavor, not super fishy. It was still really clean tasting. This one has none. Like I can't, I can't pick up a fish. There's no fish flavor. It's just that no. fresh. It was yeah. bled out. Yeah, I can't really pick up a fish flavor. Oh, I can't wait. All right, so this one's the. Oh my gosh, that looks so fatty. Farm. Oh my raised... gosh. You show oh, that. It's glistening. Look it is that. glistening. That is crazy. And it's like shaking. It's like, look at that. Wow. Melts in your mouth. Mm hmm. Like you don't even have to chew it. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Wow. It's, it's good. But again, like, you get a little fishy flavor. Not, not really. It's just very subtle, like, mm -hmm. super clean, clean mm -hmm. tasting. And guys, this is sushi-grade salmon, so it's almost sacrilegious that we're cooking it and eating it like this. Oh, man. But it is good. You're still going at it. It's almost... So it's almost hard to compare. At the end of the day, they both have their strong suits. They're both equally good, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. It's just different textures, different flavors. Mm -hmm. But you still haven't compared it. You need to compare it. Yeah, I just know. I already know. Mm, but that burger seasoning is pretty mm, good. Is it? Yum. Mm-hmm. Oh God, one. Okay. Palate cleanser. A little palate cleanser. Okay. I love that cauliflower. All right. Let's go down. So here's a piece from the top loin right there. Definitely no. not as gelatinous, no. not as fatty, oh. but let's see. A lot more mild. Mm -hmm. A like, lot more mild. You don't even taste the fish. Like, I wouldn't even know mm -mm. that's fish. No. It's crazy. That is super, super, super mild. Mm -hmm. it, it tastes like, I don't know, like chicken because it's got like more of a ten. Like Yeah, a, there's like no fish flavor at none. all. None. And it's because we bled this one out too. Yeah. So what we did to bleed it out was we actually cut it, cut the gill, and hung it over the side of the boat in the net. Man, there is like no fish flavor. None. Whatsoever. That is crazy. Mm -hmm. That is so good. That is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't get a lot of the pesto oil though. Mm -mm. You know? No. I think the salmon kind of overtook it. <laughs> Well, it wasn't a lot either. Yeah. Back to the farm raised. 
Yeah. See? Okay, so if you really enjoy the melt in your mouth, mm -hmm. tons of like hit you in the face flavor with a lot of different texture, but super soft, that farm raised is, is the way to go. It's like the Kobe beef of the ocean. Mm. But with this, it's like if you appreciate mm. a leaner, more healthy route, mm -hmm. this is definitely the way to go. Definitely the way to go. It's so good. Like you can't taste any, any fish flavoring at all. It just tastes like very clean meat. Mm -hmm. Crazy, especially like side by side now. We got a side by side comparison. Looks like you're gonna have to go some do some more like salmon fishing. <laughs> we're definitely go. Mm -hmm. We're gonna gonna go do some salmon fishing, and then one thing to address: there have been quite a few comments of our poor handling skills with salmon in our last episode and the one from last year. We're gonna get better at that. We're gonna be more mindful of handling the shorts a little bit better. Um, don't even put them in the boat. Just shake them off if we know that they're short for sure. So guys, thanks for those comments. Definitely a good eye opener because we want to keep these fish safe when we can't keep them. But anyway, guys, again, it is still comparing apples to apples some way, but it's almost like comparing apples to oranges in another way because they're two totally different fish. It doesn't even taste like they're the same fish. No. It right? Doesn't. It's almost like... Like a farmed mm -hmm. cow versus like a wild bison or something like that. No, it's still a different meat. Yeah. It's still a different meat. <clears throat> or like, or deer versus... It's like organic pork. versus not organic. <laughs> organic versus not organic. That's a good one. Leave your comments. What do you guys think? If you guys have done this before, leave your comments in the comment section. Mm. Thanks guys for watching this video. Thanks for being subscribers. Mm -hmm. We'll catch you guys on the next one. We're going to enjoy this. Bye. Bye. Uh, was it 75? Oh. Ha, 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 ha. I got you this time. <laughs> that was for you, Mario. Sweet revenge on, on, on old Edward. Why did you guys drop them or like mm -hmm. gill them or? Well, short salmon, their mortality rate is really high if they don't get put right back in the water. They're kind of wimps. Mm.